Alabama basketball has been easily one of the best teams in college basketball this year and you might not really know much about them because there's basically no college basketball coverage anywhere in the sports world. Every time I turn on the TV, they're never talking about college basketball. And March is almost here. It's like really snuck up. I mean, we're basically a week away. It's crazy. I'm super excited. The NCAA tournament, the bracket comes out on March 14th, and it's time to really get into some college basketball content. I'm very excited. There's a lot I've been studying. I know I haven't been making videos, but I've definitely been watching these teams play. And there's one team that sticks out to me is Alabama. Crimson Tide obviously are fresh off dominating the college football season and now their basketball program is taking off under head coach Nate Oates. Before Nate Oates got there they were coached by Avery Johnson and before him they were coached by Anthony Grant the head coach at Dayton and I remember they also went out after Greg Marshall before hiring Avery Johnson and the Crimson Tide my friends are taking off. Nate Oates plays a fast brand of basketball lots of threes very intense on the defensive end as well. They are a fun team to watch. But first, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for me. We are giving away a free shirt every 1K subscribers gained. So the first giveaway will be at 63K subscribers. If you wanna be entered to win, hit that subscribe button for me. And at the end of the video, I will get into more details about the giveaway there. But now let's talk about some Alabama Crimson Tide basketball. Again, not only are they dominating in football, but they are also dominating in basketball as well. They've locked up Nate Oates, their head coach, up until 2027. Nate Oates has done a marvelous job for them. Alabama was always on the brink of being a good college basketball program. Obviously, when you're Alabama with the football team there, you can be a good college basketball program. We've seen good football programs. Those type of schools have success with basketball. It just takes some time. Ohio State, they were dominating in football in like the 2000s. They were also good at basketball. They made the Final Four in 2007. They've had success. They've also gotten a couple one seeds. It's doable. It can be done. And in a year like this, Nate Oates has really taken advantage of a weaker SEC. They play fantastic on the defensive end. They're number two on Ken Palm, which is my favorite college basketball website. They're number two on the defensive end. They play super fast paced. They play an up-tempo style of basketball that's fun to watch. A lot of people complain that college basketball is boring. Teams don't play very fast. They don't score a lot of points. Alabama, no. They want to score 100 a game. They don't want to play for 60 points. They want to get to that 100 mark. They shoot a lot of threes. They are a super fun team to watch. They're small, but remind me a little bit, and my favorite team this year is Baylor. They remind me of an unpolished Baylor in some aspects. They have a lot of guards, and those guys can lock it down on the defensive end, as well as making a lot of threes. Being able to lock guys down is a sign that no matter how many points you score, you will always have a chance to win the game because you play defensive basketball. And that's why I love Alabama style. They do what I love to watch in college basketball. They move the ball well on offense, they rebound the basketball, they get out in transition, and they defend like hell. And most importantly, the most fun basketball to watch, they take a lot of threes. And they're not unnecessary. It's a huge part of their offense, and it works. And having a head coach like Nate Oates come in, he does not fool around. This man it was born to coach college basketball. He is a man that took shots at Coach K earlier this year, which was hilarious. The man is a gangster in college basketball. I think his guys really buy into him, and when he came in there, it was a completely different regime than what Avery Johnson ran. And they did make the NCAA tournament, but they just never really fully formed into what people hoped they would. But Nate Oates will fight for you. Guys believe in what he does because he's a fiery coach, and he makes it a point to his players that if you go out there and work hard for me, I'll go out there and work hard for you. Now, Nate Oates is a grinder. He was a high school coach not long ago, and he became the head coach at Buffalo after Bobby Hurley left for Arizona State. And at Buffalo, they pulled off a huge upset, beating Arizona in the NCAA tournament 2018. And that team definitely could have gone on a run. And then he got the job at Alabama and has elevated the program and they play an NBA level on offense. Now for this team, they really don't have a go-to score. They have four guys that average 11 points and no one averages more than 14 points a game. Now my one concern for them though, is they don't have a big time shot maker when they need it. A lot of teams in college basketball that have had a lot of success going in the NCAA tournament have that one guy they can look for that can make that big time NBA level shot in a clutch moment. We've seen it with a Kemba Walker. We've seen it with a DeAndre Hunter. We've seen it with a Shabazz Napier. We've seen it with a Russ Smith. But Alabama has a plethora of guards that have veteran leadership, transfers, sophomores, young guys. They've got a good mix of talent. And we wanna start off with John Petty, who is the veteran and the leader. He's a senior on this team. He's really their go-to guy when they need him. Then they have Javon Quinterly of Villanova Transfer, who is a distributor on the offensive side of the basketball. He really carries it down the court, kind of sets up what they want to run. Then they have Jaden Shackelford, leading scorer for this team as a sophomore. He's a huge impact guy. He's going to develop into a nice player for Nate Oates. And then Herbert Jones, a long guard that can be a forward as well. He moves all over the floor and is a top four scorer and leading rebounder. 
Then they have guys like Josh Primo, Jordan Berner, Alex Reese, Keon Ellis, all great players. And Reese and Bruner are seniors and Ellis is a junior guard. They've got a nice mix of senior leadership. They've got a sophomore that can score a lot of points for them. And Nate Oates has also done a great job recruiting. Alabama's getting five stars especially one in-state in J.D. Davidson, who will be there next year. Now, this team can go very far in the NCAA tournament. They play a style of basketball that can translate. It's hard to prepare for something like that because they will flat out come out there and they'll hit the gas pedal and they'll want to go 100 miles an hour. And they're really one of those type of teams that can beat a Baylor because they can match up with their guards and they can play such a fast brand of offense. And then that defense, man, I keep saying it, that defense, Number two on Ken Palm, that stands out. They defend, and that is so important for March Madness. I think Alabama has a legit shot at making the run at a Final Four. I like them more than a lot of the Blue Bloods in college basketball, and Nate Oates has turned around Alabama basketball. It's fun to watch. It's nice seeing them instead of Kentucky and the SEC dominate. So when you're filling out your bracket, do not sleep on Alabama. They're gonna get a pretty high seed. Don't just think that they're a fluke because Alabama is usually never there. This team is legit. So let me know one, what you guys think about Alabama basketball and what Nate Oates has done. And let me know too, what you guys think about the college basketball videos I'm bringing you guys. I think it's a lot of fun talking about college basketball. It's my favorite sport to watch and I cannot wait for March Madness. But before the video ends, again, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I will be giving away a free shirt of your team, of your choice one subscriber at 63k you have to hit that subscribe button for me first of all and then second comment down below also the more videos you comment on the better your chances are at winning since it is completely random the best way to get more videos is to hit that notification bell for new uploads you can also follow me on twitter for live updates on everything happening in the sports world thank you for checking out my channel i really appreciate all the support love you guys i will see you in the next video peace Hey you, Monday, March 15th at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, be there. I'm going to be live answering questions for you about March Madness. Struggling to find information about the best teams in college basketball? Don't worry, I got you covered. Write it in your calendar because you will not want to miss this live stream. I can't wait to talk about the bracket with you. We'll all be on my channel right here. See you there.